This playthrough is sponsored by Game Toppers. Game Toppers are great if you want to deluxify the most important things in your life. Like board games. We were all thinking of board games. Hello fellow gamers, I'm Gloryhound and this is Dr. Glory Hog, and today we are playing Ruins of Anarch. Lost, lost, lost ruins. ruins. They're lost. Well, I guess we found Where them. Where are these things at? Found ruins of Anarch. I'm, well. I don't know if it's actually, <laughs> if it's a specific place. I hope not. I'm, I'm assuming this is an uninhabited island and we found it. Here, give me the roll. Uh, let me see. Let me see. What is it? Atronach? Arnach? No. Can we knock on the door and they'll let us in? I mean, that's what the ruins are all about, right? It's not. Arnak. Arnak? Ar yeah, it's Arnak. Don't be weird. Arnak. <laughs> <laughs> hello how are you doing kabuki kid and hello welcome welcome to the show everybody in chat we got battle cry in there a fan of image comics last year when they started oh spawn is your favorite oh yeah i really like spawn as well that was such a good comic hello nathan what how are you on? doing i'm glad you guys all showed up because this is a game that i heard about like repeatedly over and over and over again and I just took a shot, and I bought it when I had the opportunity. And then I played it, and I was like, this game is fun. So I'm glad there's people here to see this game. I feel like this is a fairy staff, everyone. Like, what, it, what it is has this a, supposed it has to be for? Name. It's, a, it's a crescent staff, I think. Or the moon staff. You're going to make me look up the terms of everything, aren't you? Either that, or you could play shuffleboard with it, right? That's it's what I'm talking moon, about. <laughs> it's a moon staff. <laughs> Shuffleboard? Yeah, you can do shuffleboard. You can with shuffleboard it. these right here. It's see? the moon staff. You don't need no stinking rules. I'm just saying, like, why why the moon staff? What is this for in the game? Are we unlocking something with this staff? You act like you've never played this before. <laughs> it's part of the lost ruins. We found some ruins. And is this the way in or something? I'm still no, confused. It's just a I'm staff. still confused about how we're getting into the ruins. I am so sorry, everybody. <laughs> It's a crutch I, of the weakest player. I am so sorry she's like this. <laughs> Essentially, what's happening is oh you've gosh, shown Kabuki. up. That's so true. <laughs> it's essentially what's happened is you've shown up on oh, this island. Oh, no, that was Battle Cry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. So if you're interested in any of the things we have on this table, <laughs> the game trays, the Adler game topper, or the game, check out the links in the description below. Why sorry. don't you describe the world that we're no, in? No, no, you go ahead. I'm so sorry. That crutch joke like got me like no, no, no. real good real think good about, i'm sorry think about I'm some sorry. kind of like indiana giant jones style you show up on this island to discover right we're both explorers we're rival explorers we're both trying to explore the island and find these leftover artifacts from a, a long gone civilization it's an uninhabited island well at least we hope it's uninhabited right some indiana jonah you're indiana jonah hill that's who you are <laughs> Right now, with your shenanigans, that's all you first get. First player token hands it to Dr. Gloria. <clears throat> it's not. The first player token is actually this clock. A little alarm clock. I always show it to the wrong camera. A little alarm clock. That's your first player token. It's interesting. It's a worker placement game, but you literally get five rounds and two workers. So you're going to place your workers ten times. That's it. That's it. Well, you had a good... What comparison to what was it? Uh, Everdale, me, right? Like be, Everdale a little bit, right? Because of it's all about the economy of actions. How many bonus actions you can take without actually having to place a worker? Right, exactly. Have hey, have you driven four hundred sixty miles last year? You had a lot of time apart, Doctor Glory Hog. A lot of that I think was like my commute to work before COVID and everything. A lot of that because that counted in there. And you have to remember we took that one trip to Flagstaff, which was probably one hundred and sixty of those miles. Oh gosh, that's <laughs> true. That's true. So we would have been in the car together. In so the probably car. really only two hundred miles. Realistically, the only reason why I even get in my car now is to drive her to Starbucks. That's about it's it. It's an important job, okay? We've it's actually had the battery die in both okay? of our cars from just not driving them. In fact, we have a car right now that like just doesn't even have like the fluids in it, and I'm just too lazy to actually go and get the fluids, so we just kind of left it there for the, I don't know, three or four months or something, so... Yeah, she, it's bad. We're not like, good it's people. It's not good. It's not We're good. not good people. Hello, Xavier. But I would totally rock an old alarm school clock like that, because it reminds <laughs> me of like, the alarm clocks they'd use in all the 80s and 90s hold movies. Hold on, hold on. Those alarm clocks were the worst things ever as a kid, because those things would scare you awake. They were so freaking loud, like, in order to wake up, like, it was like having a heart attack when you were waking up, right? 
right? Is this, is this audience participation? Time no, this is or... this is true. Like, didn't you have the same sort of alarm clock and like you almost peed yourself waking up? Like, it's freaking crazy. No, I'm not a weirdo like you. Whenever the alarm goes off, I just wake up and I go, oh, okay. Yeah, this game is nuts. So I found this uh, like a ding and dent so from Nerd Garage, with, Nerd's Garage with a Z that I've never bought before. And they had it and they had like a copy. And so I bought it. And it got shipped and everything came. I was very happy. The box was actually pristine. So I like lucked out. I got it for a discount. Um, Hello, Makush. How I just, are you doing? I just had to get a copy of this game because I've been hearing so much about it. Absolutely. It is sold out everywhere. And hello, Jay Peters. And you know what? I'm going to say it right now. There's a reason why it's sold out everywhere. It's pretty good. It's real good. It's pretty it's good. It's real, real yeah. good. I mean, obviously, we bought this one out of pocket. And then I was excited enough about it that I was like, we should play this live. Are you ready? We got this on Saturday night, too. I want an alarm clock like that because it reminds me of all those really cool 80s and 90s movies where you had like Back to the Future and they always would make, or like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, they always had an alarm clock like that for their contraptions. Who's going first? Is it me because you, I have an alarm clock? Yeah, you have your scary I peed myself alarm clock. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was freaky. It was just, not cool. Just in case you're new to the channel, definitely like and su subscribe. <laughs> but this is not a how to play, this is a should you play. So by the end of this, even if some of the rules are incorrect, you will know if this is a game that you want to invest some time and energy into. So no fluids, bit by a vampire vehicle, maybe. I mean, it is leaking a little, it's, so that could be the possibility. To be fair, it's Arizona. I mean, everything gets dried out. All right, what do I want to do? It's very, very dry. I didn't think about my first move because I didn't go first last time. So you here's, can literally go anywhere. Here's, well, no, you literally can't go anywhere. So up here are the little icons here tell that me where I couldn't you, go. Tell me where you couldn't go right now as the first player with a completely open board. Where could you not go? I could not go to this tile right here, Doctor, or I could not go to this tile, these, any of these, because I'm going to pay compasses to get here. Are you talking about these places that don't actually have tiles because they haven't been explored yet? Yeah, you cannot go to unexplored lands yet. Doctor, is it going to be one of those nights? <laughs> did I set the mood off oh, wrong you did. because of the, you did. the staff of weird... You started it wrong. The crutch staff. You started it. <laughs> That's All right, probably what, do I what it do is here? because you can use it for shuffleboard. And this actually has a different side to the board, too, that you can flip. We did provide this spider on our own, though. This is... This that's our, yeah that's not that doesn't private, come with the game it's a, a private spider private okay? spider collection okay. that's not how we want to say that <laughs> oh. it is a spider that we own from our private collection okay so i think the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use my little guide i'm going to go down here i'm going to put them up here so you so can like I said, see you get two workers you get but you're going you're going to probably take a couple actions before you actually finish the round even though you only have two workers and that was that was my thing boy what do i want to start off with i kind of want to kick you why why so i'm going to spend one of my cards it's going to go face up in my discard pile i'm going to use one of my fear cards which is worth a oh, negative i was supposed point to use one of mine too apologies at the end of the game but you need it so essentially what they're simulating here is these are all places that you can walk to they're close to your base camp these places here you either have to take a boat or some type of like vehicle to get further into the island and out here it's going to take you twice as long to get to these locations because it's further on the island and then you've got your research track that you can go up and items you can buy. Like, there's an ostrich. We could get an ostrich. I want that ostrich. All right, don't put your elbow over here. Well, I've got to look up here at this ostrich now. You got me curious about him, okay? Please don't be ostrich <laughs> curious. So I went here. Can I please get two compass eye? No. Compass eye, please. Mm -mm. I'd rather you not. Then give me the pieces. If you hear, oops. Yeah, oops. Oops. <laughs> oops. All right, it's your turn. Yeah, it is sold out because it is doubles as the shuffleboard. I agree. I agree. Oh but, wow, yeah, you lucked. You definitely lucked out if you found a copy. Like I said, I haven't had a I chance to play it. I saw it as a deal, and I was, I jumped. Like I saw it as a deal. It was posted for seven minutes before I was like, click on the link, and I was like, buy. You should play it. So. And then I told her about it. I was like, hey, I bought that game. The next thing I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna go ahead and spend all my coins, and I think I'm gonna get this steamboat right here. Okay. Very interesting thing, just for people who haven't played it, anything that has a lightning bolt means it's a bonus action. So she's not actually taking her turn. She's, but by buying a card, she's spending her turn. So she's not placing a meeple to do that. You don't have to do that. And then any of the items that you buy, they go to the bottom of your deck. So you know you're going to draw them soon. Any artifacts, you play them immediately and they go to your discard. What's going on, Jim? Yeah, these ones on the right here are the ones that go at the bottom of your deck. So I know yeah. I'll have two compasses in my next hand. And we'll that was like a out. free action. So we got thing. What, a brush, ostrich, horse, torch, grappling hook. Which one did you end up picking up? I, oh gosh, what did I pick up? I don't know. How do you I picked up some remember? compasses. It was a steamboat. It was a steamboat. 
And your cards, you can either use them for what they have on them, like you can use them for the coins here, or you can use them as for the boat, for the transportation up in the top left corner. So you have to decide how you want to use it. So your hand of five cards is super important. In Here's how the you thing. I'm really nervous about going in this direction here because it's going to take like all of my stuff. To, well, I can't even go in there yet because I don't have all the compasses and everything. I can't even do that yet. Okay, I got to go down here somewhere. I got to go down here and do some stuff and some things. High risk, high reward to do some exploring. I'm going to go. I went high go in into exploring last time we played and uh, it paid off. It was good. It was good. I liked it. I was a fan. You done with your turn? What are you, why are you actually going again? You bought a card for your action and then you just took another action too? <laughs> How many rounds are you going to go there? You told me that was a free action, doctor. <laughs> no, I was telling them what a bonus action was. You know buying a oh card is gosh. not Oh my gosh, I thought action. so, but now you had me confused on stream. And plus, I feel like I should have had another compass somewhere, but I don't know where the compass went to. One, two, three, four, okay. Well, you're first player, so you should have had two coins, and I should have had a compass and a coin. Should have probably, uh, you know... Giving us our stuff. Take your two coins. I'm so sorry, everybody. She's new. She's new, everybody. It's yeah, not her I just, fault. I just say we restart this. Let's just, no. Let's just restart. I mean, this is not getting off to a very good start. I feel like you are not focused, and that's why. It's really your fault. Whose turn is it? <laughs> Here's the deal. It was her birthday yesterday, and she's all out of sorts now. Whose turn is it? It is actually my turn. It's my second turn. I thought it was turn. my turn. One, two, and I've done one. So whose turn is it? I'm just, I'm joking with you. Oh, God. I'm please joking please with don't you. joke. <laughs> their doctor. Please don't joke. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and spend this for the car. So I'm going to actually use the transport. And I'm going to spend three compasses. I'm just going to put them up here. I don't trust you with them. And I'm actually going to go to a location up here. I'm going to discover a new location. You're already going to discover a new location? This is how everyone starts board games, says Xavier. Okay, give her the crutch, says Battle Cry. Wow, yeah. everyone. So I actually pick up this, which I can turn in for a coin, and it's worth three victory points at the end of the game, and I can use it for bonus actions on my board, Everybody too. turn to Team Hog real fast, okay? Because you're a hot mess. <laughs> All right, so I have discovered this area I here. I hope a monster eats you. So this area here immediately gets me a... An arrowhead, which I found like a broken weapon, essentially, and I get to draw a card from my deck. So now I have an extra card in my hand, which is sweet. And then I discovered that this location was not unoccupied. There's a big old, oh my god, what is they that? They look nice. Is that a monkey? I, they look really nice. They're like... A monkey with jewelry? You should let them see it, too. Um, like the people. They're, you know what, can somebody look that up and tell me exactly what that is? That's... It's a big old... He wants money. You're basically note. paying him off. He's like the mob monkey mob boss. So here. here's what's very interesting here, right? When if I was to get to the point where I actually pull my meeples back, I would get a fear card, which is worth one less point at the end of the game if I don't actually fight this monster and chase it away. He's got a lot of gold already. I don't see I have why not, he needs I have money. not played this solo yet. I have found Aww. more and more that I struggle with solo games. I don't know why. I am not good at them or something. Thank you so much, Makush. Thank you. She doesn't deserve is your it my turn? adoration. Is it my turn? It is. All right, I'm going to go here. And I'm going to get a... There you go. Thank you. Boom. You done? You done. So I'm going to spend this, which is going to give me a coin. I have this coin, and I'm going to spend two cards that give me coins. So that's going to be a total of four coins. I'm going to use that to actually... I guess I'm going to throw money at this monkey until he leaves me alone. And now I get it. And this is worth the five points yes. at the end of the game. And it also gives me a one-time bonus up here that I can do. He looked, I mean, he wanted the money, and that's how you got rid of him and stuff. And he looked like he, he, he yeah. would mess you up, okay? That's all I'm saying. He that's definitely did. Saying. If I was in a jungle, I would throw money at him and walk away because, you know, I don't need any part of that in my life. Mm -hmm. Is it my turn? It is. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use my compass here, and I'm going to use one of these little... Arrowheads? things here and I'm okay. going to go right there like so hmm I see it's a oh. very fancy move gonna have to stop that <laughs> so this is interesting too like the further you get this the more victory points you get you get to unlock these one-time bonuses so there's like a whole bunch of different aspects to this game so I, I should have gotten rid of this guy so good I'm going to spend this compass and this and I'm gonna do the exact same thing she did I'm gonna go up here and that's gonna give me one gold coin did you do yourself your gold no, coin? no I did not all right, so I got myself a gold coin. It is your turn. I don't know where I'm at today. 
you, I don't know, but I feel pretty good about winning. <laughs> I feel like I might be able to win this one. Let's see here. I think I'm going to buy something. And maybe, I mean, it would be nice if I could buy that horse. That horse seems like he's pretty cool, but I think I'll get that ostrich instead. He's like the discounted horse. Right, he lets you, you draw the ostrich hard whenever instead. you draw him, which is pretty nice. Yeah, but like, he's like... I would have rather had the horse, but instead I'm taking this ostrich. I it's mean... interesting that you're going for like all these items where like last time I went for all the items in exploration <sighs> and this time you're going for all the the items. Monkeys can throw things back. See, that would have been nice if you would have thrown. I don't like trust him to throw back, back though. I don't, I don't trust him though. <laughs> that would be amazing if he threw it back to me. I love watching you guys play. Me and my wife are competitive and we're sore losers and it's... And the kick is, she does not like co-op games. Yeah. Ouch! <laughs> I have actually been kicked by my wife under the table during one of our live plays more than That's once. That's very true. That's very That's true. Very... <laughs> 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 all right, so all I have left in my hand is this fear card, which is only going to help me locate, go to these locations here. Um, but I don't have another person to play, and I don't have enough coins to buy anything. I could take this. As a bonus action, put it up here, which I'm blocking one of my victory points by doing that. So I'm losing a victory point to do it. And I can trade this coin in for one of these gems here. All of this is a bonus action as of right now. And I'm going to use this to move myself up. Gosh, do I want to do... Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to move... So your, your books can never go past your... Re you have to research and then you can scribe it down. I'm going to go up right here, which is going to allow me to get an assistant. I'm going to grab this assistant, and it is your turn. So the components are really, really nice in the game. Look yeah. at this tablet right here. This is uh, this is head-to-head. -head. We are rival explorers fighting to the death. Let me show. Let me show off the other couple, like, really, really nice components they have. Like, all these components are so nice that I was like, well, why didn't I get super nice coins and compasses? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, dang it. <laughs> you can use game trays as shin guards if, as long as you have duct tape. You just duct tape <laughs> them to your legs and you're good to go. All right, so I'm just going to turn this in for the compass so I can get a compass. I can't really do anything else. All right, so are you passing? Yes. Okay. So, if I had multiple actions, I could do multiple things at this point. I can't do anything with my fear card. I'm just going to discard it. But what I can do is I can use my assistant here. And I can turn them sideways. And they're going to let me either get an artifact or one of these cards for free. And so, I'm going to actually pick up this horse here. This lovely horse. Ain't no ostrich, that's Wait, for you're sure. you're getting an artifact or a card for free? Yeah, look at that. Cost zero. Don't make me look it up. Look it up just in case. That seems a little a little much. You may immediately buy an item or artifact from the card row with the indicated discount. Oh. Yeah. So it's a discount yeah. of one. Not as good. Nice. Okay, so it's a nice. discount of one. So I could buy anything that costs one for free, like those sturdy boots. I mean, they are a victory <laughs> point. So I'm buying these not horse boots. I'm going to get this and put that bad boy right like so. And it's a victory point. So that's it. I have to also pass. How is it that you always end up pulling all your cards? I don't play around. I just don't mess around. <laughs> so now that we're resetting, we take our people back. I don't have to worry about fear because I don't have anybody there. We shuffle up our cards. We put them to the bottom of our deck. That's I'll a... take that. Oh, no, wait. I don't, I don't you want, want that, that fear card? I don't want that one. <laughs> I don't want that one. <laughs> We pass the first player marker, so I get to go first this time. Take the stupid alarm clock. Okay, I don't want to wake up anyway. I'm tired. That was rude. <laughs> no reason for that. And what's interesting is that would have been replaced. So this is going to move, and you're going to discard the cards to the left and right of it. So just go ahead and discard those over to the side, please. See, I told you, shuffleboard right there. Calm down, please. And go ahead and drop out two more artifacts. I... So as time goes on, you have less items, but you get more like relics and artifacts that you can find. Well, because you're going deeper into like this unsearched area. Please you're picking up all job. the really scary stuff that I'm sure is probably cursed or something. And I get sure. my assistant back. Oh, and I get to go first, huh? Oh, and we draw five cards again. Uh, yes. One, two, three, four, five. I definitely do not get to buy something for free like I thought. Well, that's good for me. I don't. I didn't thought. I didn't think that. 
Here, I thought you were supposed to be finding lost ruins, not horses. They, I don't even know what the horse was Those doing are, out there, honestly. I used my funding to get a horse. I don't know who's funding <laughs> me, because I'm not a very good explorer, but I am an explorer. So that counts. I am going to go ahead and spend these, these sturdy boots to go here, which will let me draw a card and will also give me an arrowhead for future explorations. I Return. see, I see. And it also means... She can't go there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, well, I like that part where it opens up new places for you to go. I'm going to use this so I can get two compasses, and since it has a little lightning bolt, I can I can continue on with my turn you after getting the compasses. Bonus. After getting the compasses, and then I think I want to go somewhere. I call them compass eye. Compasses? Compasses, yeah. And then compasses. I'm going to go somewhere we're using my ostrich. I ostrich powered so I can go here or here. I think I'm going to go on this tomb area here and then I get to draw a card whenever I do which is nice. So we're going to put it here. I'm going to get this which I'm going to turn in from my little tablet and then load me up. What do I get? Oh and I got to turn in these three compasses here because I had to go up there. You going right here? Yeah. So you found I get a yourself... gemstone. Nice. Okay with that. And let's see what you have to fight. You're going to be fighting a giant bat that's got like a projectile tongue. What? Yeah, and you need to use an airplane on him. What? And an arrowhead. So you've got to get up in your plane and like throw like a dagger at him or something. Why? Why is his tongue all curly cued? You know what? We had somebody else was talking about that where they bought it and then ended up like being a super, super early pre-order type deal where it wouldn't be delivered for like another six months. Like I said, I lucked out. I saw a deal that they were like, we have a ding and day on Nerd Garage. And I was like, done. <laughs> I caught it within seven minutes and I bought it like right away. Like no questions asked. Wow, that's going to be a pain in the butt to try to get. It is. I, think I don't even gonna... know how like I'm supposed well, to get Well, you'll a... get airplanes from these cards up here, but there aren't any. Um, the artifacts have them. Oh, God. The artifacts. I just so, got rid of all my compasses, everyone. The way it works is your boots are your, are your basic, right? You're just walking. You can use a car or boat to equal a boot. And you can use an airplane to equal a car, a boot, or a boat. So it kind of goes like in that order. So you do have options. This is not starting off super well for me. <laughs> I want to. Gosh, I was going to do that one thing, but that's not going to work the way I thought it was. This brush is kind of nice. What if I just got all the feared things? Like, how bad would that hurt me, do you think? I don't see why I wouldn't just buy this hat for free. Because this hat for free just gives you a coin and a compass. It's better than like your basic cards, you know? Okay. Just straight up. And it's a victory point. It does make my deck bigger though. Which can be a problem for some people. I don't know if that's something you should be talking about. <laughs> I have no problem talking about how big my deck is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is a family show, doctor. <laughs> I kind of want to buy something... Bigger though. <clears throat> Bigger. I would rather you not. Rather I only have one not. meeple? Come on, man. What are you doing, meeple? I'm going to use my monkey. Since he has a grudging respect for me, he's going to upgrade one of my resources. So I'm going to upgrade this arrowhead into a gem. I'm going to use that gem to move my little yellow magnifying glass up there and get this coin. Okay. <clears throat> I probably should actually... Get rid of that. Thing. I'm going to use my gem here <gasps> to move this up here so then I can get a person. I'm going to take this person. What are they worth? What do they do? Oh, uh, they're either airplane a coin or an airplane. Or coin, yeah. How suspicious. <laughs> it's not suspicious. How suspicious. Let's see here. MM had some copies available about a week ago and I balked kicking myself now. Yes. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Like we jumped on it as soon as possible. It's such a good game. I really, really enjoy it. Like, oh, the placement with the drafting and like, oh my goodness, so good. All right, so now that I have this coin, I'm going to actually turn this in. It's not worth any victory points. I'm going to use these two coins plus my assistant. And now I'm going to buy myself that horse. <laughs> buy yourself a horse. Oh, wow, that one's worth three victory points. That's pretty good. That is really good, yeah. I shouldn't have he said was that a nice out horse. Loud. He has a nice horse. No, the horse isn't worth three. That brush is. Oh, the brush. It gives you compasses equal to however many of these tokens you have. 
I yeah, but a... if you don't have a lot of tokens, then that's not really super great. In my turn? Well, three victory points is what makes up for it, I think. Yes, it is your turn. All right, I think I'm going to go... I bought a cod. ...over here, and I'm going to have to get my you little arrow. You can see arrow. it's all doing all these bonus actions, so that way you don't have to use up your meeples, because you can only place them twice around, and after five rounds, you're done. We have not played any more Dice Throne uh, since we played Dice Throne Adventures. Yeah, not yet. I really liked but that like ninja I said, we character, this though. this in Saturday night, and we played it. Um, so this was like the... What else did we play? We played something else. Well, we had oh, to get through Rune Lords, Rune Lords and stuff yeah, like that saying, as we, well, yeah. We played Rune Lords like two or three times, and then we played this to get ready for this show. But it was quick turnaround for both of those, really. All right, so I have a compass here. I want to cry. <laughs> I don't want to cry. I am sad, though, that the things I want are not... a. Very I recommend helpful. anybody who is on the fence about it, if you find a copy, just jump on it. Absolutely. I'm going to go here. I'm going to use a boot to go there and get myself two coins. Can I get another coin, please? Don't tell me no. I know you want to. Oops. Yep, just give it to me. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Go ahead. What do I want to do? I think I want to take care of this guy here. Counterspell. Just kidding. No, that's not how that works, Doctor. Don't be mean. Mm. Sorry, I've been playing Magic Online. I'm going to flip this over and use the airplane for it, and I'm going to discard the arrowhead, and we're going to... So what are you doing? You are literally getting into a plane, flying around, and fighting this gigantic bat in the air in your biplane. How would that even work? We're in a plane, and we're shooting arrows out the plane door. Like, don't they just go flying into the wind? Is that, like, a good... You're in a biplane. Who's... They go pretty slow. Who's shot an arrow out of a plane before? Like Who hasn't? That's a better question. Who hasn't what? shot one out? <laughs> Are you telling me there's people out there who haven't? That's weird. Now, I can use this to discard a card like from my deck. I can get rid of a card from my deck. So it comes from either out of the cards that you've already played this turn right. or out of your hand. Well, I have a fear yeah. right here, so sure I want to actually get rid of that. So I'm getting rid of that. Here, get take, this fear. take this fear. Take this fear. Get rid of it. And normally those cards are actually up here. This game... Just as an FYI, there's a whole other little board where normally we would have these things placed and these and these, but it's adds and it just get, this is a very long game and there's a whole section up here where the cards usually sit. It's so long we couldn't get we it, couldn't all, on the it all on camera. We raised the camera and we still couldn't it's get it all on there. It's a bit of a table hog. It's, it's not that bit. it's that big. It's just really long because it's not wide. I mean, your little area of this is nothing, but it's just so long. It's a problem. That's a problem. It's a trap. <laughs> All right, I'm going to spend... Wow, this is pretty good. So this grappling hook will let you basically use waste a card to draw a card and then get rid of a card. And this one's going to let you just draw two cards by getting rid of a card. I'm go I'm really into deck builders where you get to draw a lot of cards so I can go through all your different options. I'm going to spend the two coins and buy this card right here. Which yeah, is it's probably gonna... a good one. Let me discard hopefully like a fear or something like that and then draw a whole bunch of cards. Yeah. That was my turn. Okay. And we put out a watch, Ooh. which is either worth two coins for bonus, or you could spend your whole turn and pass it to the other player and get three coins. Well, I'm kind of digging, like, the coin and the compass, too. The hat over there. Don't look at those. Also nice. The hat's good. I mean, because the hat just gives you two items, which normally you'd have to use two. I mean, it's a, it gives you both of your basic cards. Because you start off with two compasses, and two coins, and two fear. That's what all the decks start off with. Hmm. All right, I'm going to use that card there. I wanted to get the hat. Can you give me the hat? <laughs> Why are you like this? I just want my in-game hat. I don't want your hat. <laughs> Thank you. Rude. Oh, and this, uh, okay, goes underneath here. Let's see what else we got. So... A sea turtle. <laughs> Boom. You can ride that sea turtle once. <laughs> then he will no longer be your friend. <laughs> Sea turtles are very persnickety <gasps> like that. You get on a sea turtle uh, one time, and all of a sudden you're not friends. Makes sense that it is long in order to play shuffleboard. Well, exactly. Yeah. You have to have a long board in order to play the shuffleboard portion of it. I'm going to start passing tokens that way. Just be like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that the people who made this game are super excited about our shuffleboard I know. References. I'm going to say it. I'm sure some of the publishers probably listen to us and they're just like, why? Why well, did you even like mention this? that? <laughs> I'm sure they asked me the question. Are you oh, done with your turn? Yeah. Well, I bought the card. Would you I... like me to buy another card? Can I buy a vowel? I'm going to just get a compass because all my people are out, right? Yeah, they are. 
I'm going to get a compass, I think. And I'm going to play my fear card. I will be passing my turn. I don't have anything else to do at this point. Okay. What do I want to do? I have a coin and a compass left here. So... You want to surrender. What should I do? You got a coin and a compass? A coin and a compass. And you have yourself one measly tablet. The way the artifacts work is you get the bonus off the card right away, and then if you draw them in later rounds, you have to spend a tablet in order to activate them a second time. Mm, what can I do? I'm going to take the coin and the compass. What can I do with it, though? I don't surrender think I can really do much of anything. Surrender is always an option for you. You can surrender and give me all of your artifacts. I'll take them to the Smithsonian. Because I work for the Smithsonian. You're clearly like, I don't know, Chicago Field Museum or something. Somewhere lame. What the heck? Some lame museum. I think I'll just wait there. All right. You're part of like the Mesa Public Museum. Gotta go, guys. I'll finish watching tomorrow. I need some sleep because my heart attack <laughs> induced the alarm clock will yeah, be going off in a few hours. Ugh. That's fair. Well, let me just say, like, the little phone alarms are so much nicer now. My phone alarm turned on. Like, I said it. I have... The, been a long time since I've said it, but I said it this last week, and it wakes you up with like this nice like song that like slowly gets from like really really low to a little bit louder, but it's all pleasing to listen to, and just remembering back in the day, the eh, 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 is just oh. I like how you it act the like worst. an alarm even works for you. It was the worst. Can you discard those cards. Still, yourself? I don't want to be scared whenever I'm waking up. And then you'll like, I'm sure out. that's probably not good for you, New like, artifacts. doing that. Uh, you don't wake up from the alarm. What happens is your alarm goes off at 7, and then it wakes me up, and then I get up. And then at <laughs> 9 o'clock, I go, hey, it's 9 o'clock. You have to get up. That's pretty much the extent really of what happens. I don't really see the problem with that. I'm sure you do not. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, nice. Me. Okay, so Bryce says, I met you at one of the Arizona uh, game selling events that they used yeah. to run fun seeing your content now. Cool people. Oh, thanks so much. Yeah. You're like avatars like this big, or I probably recognize it because I'm much better with avatar or with pictures and faces instead of names. We, I really miss going to those things. Like, I would really like another one of those because we have some games we need to sell. We have quite a few still. <laughs> like everybody, we've been trying to call the collection. And so. We've got two five by calyxes and a two by. Four Calyx, and they're all filled with games. Yeah. And there's games on the floor, and yeah. there's games on the bench, yeah. and there's games. Yeah. There's games up in our kids' closet a little bit. You I'm get to go first. I'm going to surrender. Go over here. Surrender. I'm going to go right here. And so, let me discard the card that I need to discard for this. What is it? It's a steamboat thingy. Is it Steamboat Willie or the other guy? So if I play this here, can I still get the rewards on it? What are you using it's it for? Either the boat? or, right? The yeah. boat. If you're using it for the boat, you're using it for this top half. You mm. do not get the bonus. I want those bonuses, but I guess I'll just use it for the boat. So I'm going there. I get this thing. You have here. your three compasses for it. You gonna spend three compasses, or are you just going to like explore magically? I'm gonna use this card Ooh. here along with my other compass. Ooh. Gotcha. To not explore magically, but explore in the right and proper way that all explorers do explore, okay? <laughs> Exploratory. Wow, this is interesting. There's a 17 on this, and there's like a blue, like it's got spears sticking out of it. What? I don't know what's going on there. Take a look at that art. I don't know what's happening. Oh, you're about to fight yourself a Kool-Aid tiger. That's like not a, that's not a 17. That's like a little crane game, basically. It's like a blue ancient hey, crane game. Hey, I want you to know you're about to fight yourself a Kool-Aid tiger. This tiger, He's got like that, that, that color, <laughs> oh, the color yeah. of the bandana, <laughs> and he's got like fangs. He's got like sideways like ant fangs that are coming out, like ant mandibles. You're about to fight yourself an, an ant Kool-Aid tiger. Why are all the... I'm assuming these are guardians because they're I'll real creepy what, in this This is forest. why people left this island, because of all these <laughs> janky animals that nobody wants to deal with. Are you telling me you're excited about these animals? I'm not. I don't want to hang out with these guys. Oh, Makush says, I think it would be really good at Family Feud because my hand is so fast at shutting off that alarm. I totally used to be that way. <laughs> like, you shut it off so fast that, like, you don't, you don't even, even remember up. doing it. Yeah, you don't even remember doing it. I can attest to that. You would probably not even remember <clears throat> it. Okay. All right, you done? I'm going to go here. Okay. And collect myself two tablets. Can you give me two tablets, please? Two tablets. 
there have you live. Go. Thank you so much. I didn't get you my are, stuff when I went here. You are my rock. And oh wow, that's nice that it gave you a compass and an arrowhead, and you need two compasses and an arrowhead <clears> to defeat it. I mean, it kind of negated itself. But it is five <laughs> victory points for every one of these, so they are good if you can beat them. Okay, so let's see here. What do I want to do? Don't, don't you want me? She's like, no. <laughs> Fair. I feel like I should be doing something important, everyone. You should be doing something important. Are you going to do something important or are you just going to keep messing around? I think I'm going to mess around a little bit longer. Okay. <laughs> you let us know when you're ready. You let us know. <clears throat> so, I should probably take my other person out and like put them somewhere as well. Sure, you do you, I guess. All right, so we're going to take this and I think we're going to go... To the gem land? Here, yeah, so I can get a gem. Excuse me. Gem land. All right, I like it. I like it. I like it. Hello, Marie. Hello, how are you doing, So Marie? here's the deal, Mike. Our dog likes to go to the bathroom at 1 a.m. or at 1.30 a.m. No other time. <laughs> and sometimes I can get up and let them out, and other times I get up and I just stay up till 4 or so before I go back to sleep again. Wow. Well. It's been interesting, but she's a rescue dog, and, you know, she's really big. So if you don't let her out at 1.30 a.m., you're going to have a problem in the morning. So <laughs> You're going to have a kiddie pool in the morning. I don't know if you want that many liters of cola <clears throat> on your floor. So who is winning? It is your turn, though. Who is winning? Oh, always you know me. Winning? If it's in question, it's me. Just like... In, that, what's that supposed indubitably. to mean? I'm going to play this fancy horse. Look at this. Fan and he's going to let me draw a card. But boo! And get a compass and a coin. That's my boy. Your turn. All right. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to defeat this monster, I think, over here. I don't know if I'd call them the monster. <laughs> Using my two compasses and my arrow. Okay. And they're going to give me like a little steamboat for later. Okay. Okay. A little steamboat for later. Is it my go? It is your go. I am going to. Buy this fancy watch for free. Ooh, maybe if I can pick it up. <laughs> it's going to go to the bottom of my deck. I might need this. I might draw all my cards again. All right. It is your go. Look how fancy that was. So I'm going to use this. Ooh, that automobile looks sweet. Token right here to go ahead and get rid of my fear card. So I no longer have any more fear cards in my deck. Oh, aren't you fancy? How are you going to get down there? You're not. You're not going to. That's how. <laughs> So enjoy that. I hope you enjoy that. Not being able to go down there. I hope that's fun for you. <clears throat> okay. I wish I knew what cards I have left. So you can just like keep on drawing into them. Mm -hmm, You're just looking mm -hmm, to really draw mm -hmm, into everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Basically. Was it transparent? I'm really trying to figure out like an action plan for myself. <laughs> I don't think the action plan is going very well. Are you still taking your turn? Oh, I did the thing. All you did was flip that, though, right? And get rid of a card? Oh, yeah, that's true. That's okay. just a bonus action. Okay. I'm waiting for you to actually These are do bonus like actions, too. So I'm going to do, some, I'm gonna do something here. like this. I'm going to get one of... You got to do some tough acting to acting. You can do it. It's pretty even right now. I got five points here, three points here, plus whatever cards I've got. She's got... I'm gonna Five get one of points. Those. Do you have two of those? Oh, you've been defeated two monsters. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this. She's got two relics, this. so she's actually probably winning at this and point. I'm gonna take this, depending on cards. Which and I'm gonna move my book up. I think you cannot. You gotta move your. Oh dang! I'm gonna move that up then. I'm gonna. I gotta move my spyglass up. Mm -hmm. Sorry. There you go. Thank you for your contribution <laughs> to my museum. I'm gonna use those. You know. And then I, I get a compass for it. No. I feel like whenever I play. In front of the camera and stuff, I always forget to like grab all the extra stuff I should be grabbing. Like I just short myself, my, short myself my, the entire game because I'm not paying attention. I'm gonna use this to travel and these three compass eyes, and I'm gonna go hang out over here. Which, ooh, so this one's gonna give me a fear card, a tablet, and a gem. 
plus this compass, which I'm just going to take right now so I don't forget. So it's a fear card. Can I get a tablet, please? And I'll add a fear card into my discard over here. It's not bad. It was doable. It wasn't exactly what I wanted, but I got stuff. Oh, and I need to have my monster, huh? What's your monster? He needs Ooh, what is he? Two, oh, it's a, is that a spider or an ant? He's a spider ant. No, he's like a spiky ant. He looks like really cute though. After seeing Ant-Man, I feel like this doesn't seem as threatening anymore. You don't seem as threatening anymore. <gasps> How dare you? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move up my little book. Okay. Your book is up. I and repeat, your book is up. So you get this. Let's get that, and then I want the. That one? tile there, I think, yeah. The one that lets you change a gold coin into an arrowhead? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Oh, look, the one underneath it with a bunch of gold is good. Oh, yeah, I like that one, too. Remind me to get that one, okay? Uh, no. <laughs> my, no. My go? So I'm going to go actually cover up this spot <clears throat> here, cover up two of my points here, and get an arrowhead because I want to move it on up, move it on up, move it on up. I'm going to go... I felt like I needed to do that for a reason. Gosh, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll do the draw card. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. Okay, so I drew a card. I'm going to play this one here, which tells me to get rid of a card. So I'm going to get rid of this exploration token here to draw two cards. I love Ant-Man. I know, right? Ant-Man is the best. It was such a great movie. It Some is. of the best in the MCU. Year go. All right, I'm going to activate... This one here, I so I can I get to draw a coin. one more card. I just want to play all my cards. Is that asking for too much? Are we already on the third round? And I feel then like this is going quickly. I'm going to activate this one here, so I can get an arrowhead for my coin, like so. And then I need to activate them in like the right way. And then I'm going to. What should I do? I don't know. <laughs> Probably do something. I think I'm going to just get the two tablets so I can increase my thing here. So I'm going to get the two tablets here, and then I'm going to move my spyglass up, I think. What are you getting tablets from? I just I put it here. Mm. So I think I'm going to move my spyglass up one. And turn those in, and then I'm going to get one of these compasses like so. Okay. Don't like it, but what can I do about it? Is it my go? It is your go. I am going to... I'm going to spend these two vehicles right here on these sturdy boots to count for this. And I'm going to spend a coin, right? Is it a coin or a it's compass? It's a compass. compass. Spend a compass. To get rid of this, I'm going to immediately flip it over and, and actually have it discard one of my fear cards. That's probably a good idea. Because I have Aww, an extra one. thank you so much, Marie. I appreciate that. <laughs> we actually did watch WandaVision, and that is weird, but I like it. It's weird and likable. It's it like reminds me of... watching Bewitched. That's what it reminds me of. Well, definitely. That's what I was going to say. Definitely, but like of a certain storyline. It's your turn. Do you have anything to do? I don't, I don't think so. I only have the two compasses, and I don't really want to buy it to get that card that gives me the fear, the fear card. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of that card. They both have defeated two monsters. We've discovered two places, and we both used up these two things here. So we're actually pretty much even, depending on whatever cards we have. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get... You've bought a lot more stuff, though, than I have, for sure. Please don't talk about that. I'm going to go ahead and get a gold coin with this card here. I'm just going to discard this fear card. I still have both my fear cards, though, because I'd gotten an extra one. I thought you just one. discarded one. Oh, you got, got an extra one. I got an extra oh, one right here. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to shuffle these bad boys up. We're going to get our stuff back. And you untip your little people here. Don't forget to tip your waitress. Kind of. <laughs> I'm going to go, I'm first player, correct? Oh, nice. Yesterday was a good day to have a birthday. That was that was my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to your daughter. Wait, you're not. No, I'm just kidding. 
Look, I have so few cards. Like, I'm going to go exactly through my deck. I have, like... You have exactly five cards? Five, six, seven. I have exactly seven cards. I have one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten cards. Yeah. Can I get the first player marker, please? I don't even remember where I put that. There you go. Uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going for card draw with mine. I am going to start off by spending these two coins and my person here to go ahead and collect this automobile. I'll put that in my deck. Oh, you know what we didn't do was what? this part. So this should have got Oh, yeah, move it down. Oh, yeah, like, why are we so... Like, why is this round going so fast, everybody? Can you take those two I'm going cards, too fast. And so, yeah, we're, we're running out of time. We're running out of time. There we go. That works. Oh, my gosh. That works. Now we just have a large backpack and a sea turtle. Craziness happening up there. Technically, any sea turtle could be a large backpack as is long it my... as it likes to hug your back. Did you go already? I did. I bought a card. Okay. And so... I put it at the bottom of my deck. What do I want to do? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get my probably. coin and my compass. And I think I'm going to go exploring again. So I'm going to put my little person over here. We're going to get this right here. And I get to draw a card, which is very nice. Very nice. And we're going to spend our three compasses like so. Okay. And then what do I get? What do I get? Come on down. Wow, what are you getting? I don't oh. know. You gotta, you gotta turn out the thing for me. <laughs> wow, I wasn't paying attention to what you were doing. I get a coin and I get a little arrowhead. arrowhead. And you get yourself. Who am I fighting? I'm fighting the glory hog. Yeah, you are. You're fighting like some wild pigs. Look at him. He's so cute. They don't look happy. He's so cute. They don't look happy. You, <laughs> you need a boot, an arrowhead, and a coin. Didn't you just get? A I coin just got and an arrowhead, arrowhead and a, and How a coin. How does it keep happening to you? Because I'm. Very but, special. But you're like not the only thing is though you're not actually getting like you're getting victory points, right? But you're not actually getting any resources because you're immediately spending them yeah. to fight that. Yeah. So that's a little but intense. It's making it nice and easy, I guess, for me to go through. Like I guess that's true. I guess. <laughs> I am always what do I want to do? How do I have to get over there? I don't want to get over there that way. That's for sure. I'm going to go ahead and spend my boots here and go here, and I'm going to get an arrowhead and draw a card. Okay. I'm all about drawing cards. I'm going to go ahead and use this one here, and we are going to go on here, and I'm going to get like, to the little tomb thingies. Okay, I am going to spend these two tablets and this arrowhead and move myself up here. How dare you? It's your turn. <laughs> All right, I'll use this one right here, and we're going to... Oh, wait, I don't even have to use that card, because I can use this one right here. I can use a little steamboat instead of the shoe, right? So, like, are you riding on its back or something? I'm assuming that's what's happening, thematically. Thematically? Thematically, you're riding on the back of that I monster, guess. and he's taking you further to the island. So I got him. All right. Cool. My go? I'm going to spend this gem and this tablet here, and I'm going to move up here. 16 is a big number. And I'm going to take this little bonus, and I'm just going to trade it in right now to get a compass, so I don't forget. It is your turn. All right. What do I want to do here? I got, like, a lot of compasses right now. I feel like I should get some stuff, but, like, what out here can I get that's going to be good? I can get this for two. Just let you draw a card immediately? Not bad. Okay. Yeah, but then you're like replacing a card for a card, so it's not really that great, honestly. Uh, well, and then you have to spend tablets on it later, too. Kind of like that turtle over there, though. Whoa, he does mm. the exact same thing, <laughs> but he costs coins instead. N or no, he's a but discount. he, yeah, he discounts that, plus you get to draw a card. Yes, he gives you a little bit more, technically. What do you mean? What? But you get a discount, too, so like that's good. That would be a little bit more, is what I'm saying. I'm buying that. That's exactly. I'm buying that. All right, Jim, we'll catch you later. I know what I want to do. Get I want up, to take this watch, put it on this horse, send it ahead. No, I can't do any of those things. <laughs> All right, what do 
What do we get new? What's new? Oh, we got a dog. Oh, cute little pupper. What does he have in his mouth? He's so cute. He's got like a centipede in his mouth Why or something? He's so cute. Active fades, an unoccupied site. That one's pretty good because you don't have to actually go there. That's three coins. Boy, I really wish I had three coins right now. Okay, I will actually have the three coins right now. Do you? <laughs> I will discard those for three coins. I'm going to buy this dog because that dog is sweet. It's kind of late in the game to get him, but I will probably get at least one activation off of him. Hopefully. And it is your go. All right. I'm going to get a coin, and then I'm going to turn that coin into a... Arrowhead. Arrowhead, and then I'm going to use... All these things. No, you're not. <laughs> I think I'm going to use all these things here to go up right here. Because then I can change one of these to like, like I'm going to change this one side, here to the gold side. Yeah. yeah. And then it becomes where I can use it again, huh? Yeah. And you can then you can change your gold into an arrowhead or a gem. Yeah. Which is nice. Which is like double upgrading it. Are you done with your turn? You are because you just researched. Yes. So it is my turn. I'm going to use my horse, draw a card. Learner's permit. Oh my gosh. I didn't even think about that. That's I true. I don't want to think about that. Ooh, we don't have too far off. We're not too far off. Um, okay. <laughs> sure go. Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about possible learner permit situations. Mm, what should I do? I'll do it all for you. I get a thing and some stuff and some stuff and some things. So I'm right here. I really need like... Some stuff. Okay. To go up over here. I can neither help you nor care to. Does that help? Why are you like this, <laughs> doctor? Mm. Well, I feel like you did ask. Did you um, ask? Um. I felt like you asked in a in a way, in a way you asked. I mean, it's one of those things. Like, how worth it is it to get these? You know, like, should I draw another card? Maybe I have like four compasses, but I don't want to get any of those cards up there. Then don't get them. But I have four compasses, everybody. I mean, there are these sites up here too. You could try to get to at some point. All right, I'm gonna bank these four compasses. Whoa, that was a risky move. I try to talk her into stuff and then tell her. That is a risky move afterwards. Why are you like this? I don't know. That's a good question. I feel like I need to use this person, though. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to get a compass and a gold for that. And then I can turn this into either an arrowhead or a gem. And I think what I'll do is an arrowhead. Forever. All right. All right. So I'm going to use this. A little exploration here. I'm going to go here and get this Oh my gosh, gem. you still have a person? Mm -hmm. Do you have anything else you're doing or have you passed past? No, I think that's all I can do. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take this gem and so, this coin. And I am going to go here. Mike, we don't have to worry about winter driving in Arizona. So, like, it's so much easier for all that stuff out here. And we don't have a lot of parallel parking either. So... You have to do like one little parallel parking thing for your driver's test, and then that's it. And then you will probably never ever parallel park in Arizona, like ever. I'm gonna spend my two compasses <laughs> to get this card here. You wanna put a new card in? And then it gets played immediately, and I draw a card. Just curious to see what I would get, honestly. And with this one here, I'm just going to go ahead and bank this compass. Okay, I gotta use this. I want to see it. So move the monster from a site you occupy to an unoccupied site with no monster. Activate that site. Ooh. I would like that card. I still have two cards in my hand, too. Do you want to know what they are? Fear. <laughs> all right, so I'm done with all those. I am done. That's a kind of an interesting card, right? So, like, you can move a monster. I mean, is that worth it? I mean, you do get to occupy the site, though. I don't know. I can't tell you if it's worth it. This is the last not. round? Yes. Holy cowbells, everybody. We're doing, like, a lot worse this, this time. This is not good. Last Why am I, I such a bad the, person? I did all the exploring, and you went super far up this track, and Why this time so it feels like this? it's going the opposite. 
Okay, just shuffle these up. You get to go first, though. That's cool, right? Do I or do you get to go first? I went first last time. I have a flock over here. I just gave it to you. Oh, never mind. I get to go first. <laughs> I'm so sorry. She's like this, everybody. I would say she was dropped as a child, but I don't know if that's true or not. Use the effect on the gold side available on the supply board. Oh, no, very nice. Okay. That one just lets you defeat a monster. It's called the War Club. <laughs> there you go. Just knock them out. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah, our winter drive would be like, oh my god, it's 65 degrees outside. Ah, crash. We have rain driving, because since it doesn't rain, people drive super crazy whenever it rains. Like, they have no idea what to do. Every time, it's like a brand new phenomenon. It's rained? What? What is this? I'm at the Lost, lost Runes, and I find one of your hairs? That's normal. <laughs> uh, you get to go. All right, I would like to... Take your people back. Take my people back, first off. That might be like okay. step one. I think I'm going to go way up here. I think I'm going to go to this thing up here. Should I go to that thing? I don't know. Oh, God. Maybe I wouldn't... I won't be able to defeat it, though. Oh, I'm so nervous, everybody. It uses so many cards. What does? Going up here. You use a lot of compasses. Are those monsters worth more? No, they're the no, same monsters. No, they're worth the same. Yeah, they're five-point monsters. Why would you go up there? Just for the extra three points? Yeah, three And then you're points. like, ha I got up to the top. <laughs> Plus, these are usually going to give you more rewards because it's a level two tile. Thank you so level much, Kabuki. Did you feel, last game, did you feel like it was worth it going up there? I did it twice. Yeah, but did you feel like it was worth it going up there? I don't know, I lost there? by two points. It was 81 83, so I can't give you advice. I lost last time we played. It's interesting because, like, right here, you have six points. I have nine points. So I'm ahead there, but you've got an extra monster under your belt, so you're ahead there. But you used this spot, which I have not used that spot, so I'm ahead there. All right, there. We'll, go, we'll go up there. So we're going to do that. There's a lot we'll of different that. things you can be doing. So we discarded two of those to get up there, and then I'm going to discard all my compasses. i got to discard an extra compass. So three, one, two, three, four, five, six on that one there. I'm going to keep that like that, just in case. We're going up here. I was just announcing to everybody. You're so. just being really loud about just, it? Yeah. Could you tell? Could you see me? <laughs> you just, oh, we all heard you. Could you... Uh, Where'd you go up there? Yeah. See, I didn't even pay attention. Did I get... What did I get? Was it good? You got like one of everything. One of all the things. Well, that's nice. I mean, it's kind of nice to do it at the end. Ooh, you have to have three tablets to beat that guy. Ooh. That's less good. Well... Well... <laughs> My go? It is your go. I am going to... Gosh, I'm going to use this rope and discard this card for it and draw two cards. And that's like my whole turn. <laughs> it is your go. Oh, what do I want to do? Mm. There was something I wanted to do in this situation. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend my two arrows and I'm going to go up here so I can draw a card. I get a compass. Draw a card. Hopefully I'll draw into something good. Hopefully. We shall see. We shall see. <laughs> All right, I am going to... If it's last turn, what are you saving cards for? Not saving cards. We're just going through and, like, uh, going through all the cards in our hand. So I'm going to use my dog, and he says I can get a compass and then activate one of these sites that are unoccupied. I'm going to do this one. Yeah. I'm going to discard my fear card just to get this red gem. And it is your go. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right now. Um, this 
one's going to give me a fear card, and that doesn't seem very good. I would like to be higher up on this track, though. That would be nice. Yeah, last time just, we both like, finished up here. That was pretty nice. Get up there. Get up there. <laughs> I have never really gotten this up, though. It seems like I always leave my book far behind. So I could do... She is not old enough to rent a car, but that's mostly because of her driving. <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. Oh, dang. There's like so many choices and things happening. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you going to do? I don't know. You should do something. I know. Before everybody falls asleep. Oh, gosh. All right, so it's like I want all these tablets is the problem, but I don't want to have to like go on the tablet thing because I feel like that's like a waste of my stuff, you know? Yeah, you only get so many. I know. So like, but I, I need the tablets, but I don't want to have to like get the tablets. Does that make sense? It does. Mm. What do I have here? I'm going to turn these two cards in, I think. For like some compasses and stuff. So I got two compasses and a gold. And I think I'm just gonna use these four compasses here to buy this card. And then I get to use this right away, right? Mm -hmm. To feed a monster? Yeah. Boom! Get out of here, you. Go and put out another relic. I mean, that's good. You got five, you're gonna get five points off of that. So it's not a bad thing. What does that one do? Does that defeat Don't gain too? fear from monsters this round. Oh, yeah, it's not bad. You just grab that bad boy. That's actually not bad at all. All right, so you're done with your this turn. This last portion here is like all about maximizing everything. And you have so few turns and like so few things. I get a compass. That like, it's like every single tiny little thing you do is so important, Battle Cry. <laughs> Don't give me the crap. <laughs> so I did watch an automobile. So those both gave me two compasses and the other one gave me two coins. And I am going to use a compass and a gem to move up here, which will give me a coin. Can I get a coin, please? And I will pass the turn to you. All right. And these Compasses and gem aren't worth gems aren't worth anything at the end. So turn this into a gem, and then I'm gonna take my coin and my gem, and I'm gonna move my one up here. We're gonna take one of these. Oh, I get a draw card for going up too. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Is that little, what you needed? A little horsey horse. A horsey Yay. horse. Are you done with your turn? You are. I am. Horsey horse lets me draw a card. Get a coin. Can I get a coin, please? And a compass. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. <laughs> You're a gentleman and a scholar, or some such as that. And that's my turn, because he takes my whole turn to do that. But he's worth it. Getting nervous. You're getting nervous. I'm getting nervous? Yeah. Why am I getting nervous? It's just You just look nervous. How do I look nervous? Your face says it all. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. All right, we're going to go here. Bum, bum, bum. I'm going to use this here so I can draw a card. That is awkward. When I go there. Oops. I was just looking and at that spot, too. And I'm going to like, get a compass and a little arrow. Oh, gosh. I was like, that's a good spot. Maybe I should go to that spot. <laughs> you done? For the moment, yes. <laughs> I'm going to go to boat. We don't have any more people, so I don't have to worry about you taking any more spots. <laughs> I need to get a tablet and one of those. And there's no spot to get that. That is not ideal. Hmm. It's like I want to get a tablet. Like, is it worth trying to come to like a whole new area and just hoping that like it doesn't trigger a whole bunch of bad stuff? I mean, I'll get three victory points for it. Sure, why not? It'll be interesting Let's to see that. how Let's do that. how this comes. I'll get this tablet. Oh, you know what? We haven't played Godspeed. So Godspeed is a fun game. I love space.
Space Race games. I've looked at it before, though. Oh, look at that. I was going to give me a gem oh, and very tablets. Nice. So I'm going to get a lot of tablets now. Yeah. Can I get a coin, please? There you go. And then I'm going to flip this one to get an extra tablet. And let's see what my monster is, what he wants to be doing. Oh, he just wants a little, little bit of stuff. Oh, he's a cute guy. He's cute. There's no problem. He's fine. We get along. My turn? It is your turn. All right. We're going to get my little coin here. And then we're going to take this, this, and the coin. And we're going to move my book up over here. Like so. And then I get the tablet back. So we're just going to... That there. We're going to get the tablet back. We're going to do that. How, how convenient. Hmm. Oh, and then I get to flip him, which makes him like that. I'm going to go here. Draw a card. And... Get to this. It's your turn. I don't have much stuff I can do left. Let me all pass your turn. I'm not done yet. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Hashtag are you done? Calm oh. down there, doctor. What so about this now? does this make this makes my thing what into an arrow, right? And then into an arrow into a gem, right? Right, you can change a tablet into an arrowhead or an arrowhead into a gem. Okay, like so one a tablet the into an arrowhead. Like so. And yeah. then I can do this one here. Right, and turn it into a gem. And turn it into a gem. Like so. Okay. Like so, and then I can turn this to get my two coins. Like so. And then I can move this up, so I can use those there, and I can move up into here. And then that's going to give me three compasses. Mm -hmm. And then your turn is done. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I'm going to get a compass. Can I get a compass, please? The you could still buy stuff at the end here, so, like, it would your be turn. good, you know? No, I just, um, at the point where I just want you to take your... In turns already. Wow, doctor. Uh, it's fine. It's it is one of those it is like Everdell where you're like really you might only have like three people to place, but you could take a, as many bonus actions as you can make happen. I'm gonna so. spend my two compasses to get this. Okay, flip out another card, please. And that's gonna give me a gem and actually a fear card. So give me one of them fear cards. Yeah, get those Thank negative you. points. And I Thank want you. the gem. I feel like it's going to be worth it in the long run, okay, everybody? All right, so that card, what does it say? It says use up a card, and then you can oh, unflip a person. What's the gold side of this would make it worth two? That's gold side, and then move. Move from a site you occupy to an unoccupied site with no monster. Activate that site. Whoa, hello. Mm. I'm going to be doing that, I think. So that cost me how many? Four. I'm going to spend these four. I'm going to buy, actually, I'm going to spend three of them because I have this person here. I might as well use them. It would be silly not to. So buy this one, and it says, move a monster from a site to an unoccupied spot, and then you get that action. So not only am I going to not get a fear from this guy, I get to move him to an unoccupied spot and get that action. So the question is, is do I need more tablets? I don't need more tablets. I just need a stinking gem. I'm going to put him right there and get a gem. Sure go. Put out a that new That would be really artifact. interesting because you could technically give somebody negative points with that. You get a new thing? Oh, by putting it onto somebody else's yeah. spot? You can't because it says unoccupied. Oh, an unoccupied. Okay, good, good. But I did want to fight him, but, you know, it is what it is. Eerily Awaiting Rocket Man. Is that going to be th the expansion on that one? What are you doing? Me? Mm -hmm. It's your turn. I know. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. So if I go up one, I get to draw a card on that. Gives me more, more points. Ooh. I mean, I feel like it's worth it, right? I, what else am I going to do with this? I don't know. <laughs> right? Okay. Draw a card. Okay. So this is worth victory points. You definitely get a lot more for this one, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend 
a compass, a coin, and a gem. How do you keep getting here. stuff, <laughs> doctor? So what's really good about that one is the point difference is 16 up to 23. So that's a seven a point, point difference, difference for jumping yeah. up. Plus I get this bonus of getting rid of a card. I'm going to get rid of my fear card. So that actually just gave me a victory point that that did right there because I got rid of a fear card that I already played. It's your turn. I still have a card in hand too that I can do something with. All right, let's get some more compasses. I feel like I need more compasses in my life. How do you still have so many cards in your hand? Because I, I drew into a bunch of cards, so we're going to get these. That fear is going to help you out. No, it's not. <laughs> Are you done? With your no, I, I oh, need God. to buy okay. something yeah. or do something still. Yeah, no, that's cool. Well, I'll just wait. <laughs> <laughs> so I need like, I need Can you a... tell the different types of players that we are? She's got like this long strategy plan. I'm just like, ooh, can I go up there? No, 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 no. And this like is way back here somewhere, like just doing nothing. Doing I need like a gem or a compass or something. Nothing. There's some tablets over there. Did, some tablets. Did I like throw? Is it worth it to take another fear card for that? I don't know. I also don't know. I mean, what could I do with all that? That I could make into my other stuff again. That would probably be better though. The sacred drum. So that I'm not taking fear cards. I basically discard a card and then I get to redo my stuff over here. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't be too bad. You should do that then. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to use these compasses. Sweet. I'm going to take this. People. Put out a new card, please. I'm going to untap my people here. So I can go here now. And the way this works is I can spend these resources. So I can spend like a gem or a compass and... One of these, and I get one of these two tablets. If I wanted to spend these two tiers below, I can get this tablet. Or if these two tiers will get me this tablet. Oh, do you or have a I bunch of materials? If I spend all stuff? three, I could get that tablet. I'm just telling the people. <laughs> I could get uh, a two tablet if I really wanted to. But okay. I'm going to go ahead and play this card. and So this is the risk. I'm going to spend this tablet to draw a card because I have the stone jar. and I have to spend a tablet to draw a card. Or should I just get two victory points for sure? That's for sure two victory points. If I get myself an arrowhead, which I could do by getting rid of three victory points, that would get me six victory points. Mm, nope, it's too far over. I could get that though. There's a couple different options you could still do. These coins seem quite worthless to a certain degree. I'm going to do these two coins and just buy this card because it's worth a point. It's worth a point at the end. It's probably a good idea. Your turn. All right, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm not going to seed at this point. Do the two coins, and I'm going to get a gem. So I actually get a coin and a gem. And let's see here. What do I want to do? And it's not really worth me moving this guy up at all, because I'll get one victory point by going up here. Two victory points if I go up there. It's not super beneficial so that book's probably staying way down there all right we're gonna do that and then we're gonna move this up here with the coin or i'm sorry with the gem and the compass which means that i don't have to pay the cost of one of these i can just take one mm -hmm. how does that work if i can't draw wait hold on draw up to three cards keep one and you may return one of them to the top of your deck if you have no cards in your deck currently it just does nothing Don't give me a sad face. I, I didn't invent the game. I see. <laughs> I've heard about Rocket Man, but I haven't actually seen it like in action. So I don't know. I don't have like a strong opinion on Rocket Man. Okay, so if I take this one here. Wow, you really explored this time. Like you've got a lot of explore. We did the exact opposite of what we did last time. I get two coins. Since you won by doing the research track, I went for the research this time. And then you explored. Last time I explored and you went research. And I can use the effects of something on the board over here. You can use effects of what? The silver side on one of the boards over there. Of one of these? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you can't mm -hmm. just use it on your own? What does it say? It says, use the effect on the silver side of one of the oh, okay. people available on the supply board. So I was looking over there to see what I wanted to do. Two coins, you can upgrade something or you can draw a card by spending a card. I think I might just do the upgrade something thing. So if I use this here and get two tablets and then I can turn one of them into a arrowhead. 
I feel like the whole last part of this is just like doing the very tiny, like last little bits of every single thing that you can possibly imagine on these right, here. Well, like, this is weird because I could spend this, right, and basically cover up three victory points mm -hmm. in order to get a six tablet. So that's gonna give me three victory points. Or I could just buy this for two, and it's five. If I just did this, it's gonna give me two victory points. And it's just gonna be positive two. If I waste three, I could get six victory points. That's gonna be a positive of three. So just technically more. I think this is gonna be like the last thing I'm gonna do here. Yeah, I'm kinda of down to the end here. I mean, I could draw a card and just hope it's something really good, but if it's not, then I've kind of like, wasted my opportunity to get that six points up there, you know? I'm just going to pay for one now. What are you doing? I know I'm taking my turn out of order, but it's not like, I mean, you're already up there, so. Draw your compass. I mean, that could matter. You get a compass. Taking that compass. I don't know what I could do with it. I could also just draw a card and see if that was worth anything. Can't I just, I would like to just turn my coins into compasses, please. <laughs> isn't that, isn't I'm gonna there risk it. I a like new stuff. Martin Wallace game that Ellie, isn't that the Ellie Cat game one or is it the other one? I risked it and I drew a fear card. That mm. is absolutely not what I wanted. That does not help me. There's one on our Kickstarter show that we're going to be doing. That's called Tinner's Trail. Yeah, that's the Ellie Cat game, Tinner's Trail, new it Martin is, Wallace but game. Yeah. He's talking about Rocket Man. Well, yeah, but I was just saying, if you like Martin Wallace games, stay tuned for the Kickstarter show because we're going to be talking about one of them <laughs> tomorrow. No. That is all the things I can do. I could get like a victory point, I think, but that. I would don't be feel spending. like I did very good this time, everyone. I have like one of everything. That's not very helpful. <laughs> That's not. All right, let's add up these points. First off, don't tell me how to work. Oh, my turn. sorry. <laughs> That's super rude, because I could get another compass, and that will not get me anything up there. Yeah, I'm good. I think I'll call it. Okay. On my terms. Oh, sorry. On my terms. All right, so we're going to start off by scoring. So you're going to start by scoring these two here. So you're at 16 and 8, right? 16 and 8? Yes. 24? 24, and I'm just at 23. 23. I missed out on points by not doing what I wanted to do, fortunately, by trying to draw a card and get lucky. All right, so then we're gonna move down to these, which neither one of us got any of these. I could have gotten that one, but I was dumb. I tried to risk it, because you know how I like to roll. <laughs> then we'll go off of these points here. So how many of these do you have? You got three, six, nine, 12, 15, is that correct? Sure. Well, I mean, it's your point. Yes. You, you do need yes. to actually calculate <laughs> Yes, them. it is sure, it is correct. <laughs> I've, only, I've got nine points, but I also have these two things open here. So I've got, so that's gonna be 10, 13, 14, 15, 16 points. So right now we are tied. Okay. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, we're tied right now. It's kind of interesting. We're going to move on to Monsters Defeated. You're going to definitely beat me there. I've got 10. 20. Yeah, so you're ahead by 10, 10 points. Then we go to our cards and our fear cards. I got 10 points in cards. 10 points in cards? So I have to come up with 20 points in cards. I'm pretty sure you won this one. I got one that negates that one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've got eleven, but you're up by ten points. So yeah, you win. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did you have any fear cards? I had one, but I already took it out of my card. Like so total. you got sixty-nine points, and I got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got 60 points. You beat me by nine points. Aw, yeah. <sighs> Dang, I did worse. <laughs> we did what well, we both did worse because we were 81, 83 when we played this how last. How did I get, how did I do so well last time? Like, I felt like last, last time, time I was you... like, boom, 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 just like knocking stuff out. And this time I'm like, I don't know what I well, did. Well, a lot of it's going to depend on what flips out here and what flips out here. I felt like last time I had multiple options I always wanted to select, where this time I felt like, mm, there's not a lot of great stuff. Yeah. A couple times and you also there are certain moves that you did that kind of blocked areas I wanted to go to it's funny because I went super heavy exploration last time 
and you went on the research track, and then we kind of flipped it in the opposite. But I still have yet to find a way to get this guy up. I don't know how you get yours Both of mine all the up. way up there. Like, what was I doing? I don't know. <laughs> One of the downsides of buying a bunch of cards, though, is they cost resources. They do. And they don't necessarily add a whole bunch of points. They're only like one point, two points. I guess I'm probably going too heavily into buying cards. I was going to say, you have to be really picky about the cards that you buy because those are resources that you're using that you could be <sighs> using, like, on these tracks here and stuff. Well, they're mostly just coins, but... Well, coins and compasses and stuff like that, but the compasses will slow you down if you're not getting the compasses for here and everything. I don't have an issue with that. I think... Then just where you're spending your time Last stuff. time I had a ton of tablets. Like, it was so easy to get, but I could not get arrowheads. Yeah. And then this time, I just seemed to, like, not be able to get tablets. The other thing is, is this combination here, I think, last time worked so well for me. These people right here... Yeah. I got a really awesome combination really early in the game where I was just able to like pump out so much, so many resources and continually be getting those things. That, that was really helpful as well. Let's play one more round. <laughs> I don't think that's the way it works, doctor. Mm. <laughs> Thank you for everybody that joined us today. We really appreciate you all one hanging out with us. One more round. We hope that you enjoyed the playthrough and that you've made up your mind on this game. Make sure to stay tuned for our Kickstarter show, which is tomorrow. Can we just leave this out? I want to play it again. Make sure to like and subscribe to our content. Ring that bell so you get notified whenever we go live. Tomorrow we have our Kickstarter show, and then we are also playing Vampire the Masquerade Coteries uh, of New York. Co Coteries of New York. Which so is a game on about Switch, that. right? It is a game on Switch. We're playing that in the evening, and it is a story-based game where you are actually going through the story and... It's mostly like, it's almost like a like a comic book because you're reading it and you're making like a choose your own adventure comic book. You're making your decisions on it and stuff. But the art's like super, super gorgeous. I was going to make a joke about how I don't read, but that's not true. I read really yeah, quickly. Yeah, you, you do. I don't have patience <laughs> for it. So I don't skip cutscenes, but I definitely read the subtitles of the cutscene and then I skip them actually saying it because the voice actors are always so much slower. They're like, I want you to know. And I'm like, boop, boop. boop. <laughs> and I was like, wow. <laughs> back to the fight, back to the fight, back to the fight. Back to the fight. So that should be a really fun one to go ahead and show off. So I hope all of you, to see all of you tomorrow. Anything else? Anything else? You cheated earlier. Radlands. I'm pretty sure. No, I didn't. You didn't. But Radlands I didn't. next have, week. Have I won a single game? Cubitos next week? I don't think I've won a single game on camera since I lost that last one last year. It's Did you just get like bad mojo? Yeah, yeah, mojo, like beginning of the year mojo where I like stomped. Because even Dwellings was really bad. <laughs> Because of that, the dwellings is still carrying through. It's haunting me. <laughs> I can beat you off camera like, sometimes. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I did find one artifact that we didn't actually do anything with. One relic. Was it the shuffleboard one? 